Okay, welcome back everyone. We are getting ready uh, to gear us up for a, another Joint School Live workout, again with Mark Wilkinson, who's joining us from uh, Post Up Home Physio. Uh, so very happy that, that Mark's back to take us through this session, which we'll look at early stage exercises after total knee replacement. So looking at the first week to 10 days. Uh, as ever, important to highlight in this video, as with all our other videos, this is not specific medical advice. The aim here is to highlight a few key points, some things that, that may be helpful, and really to, to dip into Mark's experience uh, in terms of guiding his, his clients through, through this stage of the process. Um, and I think, yeah, I, th I, think, I think that's pretty much it, really. So let's, let, let's dive into it and, see, uh, and see, what, uh, see, see what Mark has to say about the, the session before we, before we uh, go, go, go into it, and I, and I hand things over to you, Mark. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having us. No, no, always a pleasure. Such a pleasure. Uh, th thanks for the last session. Uh, you know, it's, it's not been out yet, but I, but I, but I, I know it's going to be a good one, and I, I look forward to, to, to hearing the feedback uh, you know, from people about it. And of course, you know, as ever, for all of you watching this now, if what we're talking about or the uh, movements and exercise and activities that Mark touches on, if that sparks any questions or suggestions for topics for us to cover, uh, feel free to send them in, and, and we'll absolutely get to them in, in, in an upcoming session. Uh, we tend to move a bit chronologically, so in the last session, Mark kindly guided us through some sort of prehab exercises, mainly for mainly for for those who are getting ready for a knee replacement, but also touching on some exercises that could well be useful for those who are getting ready for a hip replacement. Uh, and today, I, I think it'll be a little bit more specific for that first week to ten days after a knee replacement. And um, I don't think it'll be too much of a surprise to anyone out there that after that we'll move on to sort of later stage exercises in, in a subsequent session. Exactly, yeah. So like you said, first first week to ten days. So we're gonna go through the, the basics really, but most important thing after knee replacement is is getting the basics right really. So not making it too complicated, getting the quads moving and getting the knee mostly extending so most important thing after a knee replacement is making sure you're getting that knee straight yeah 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 absolutely and and be, and be, before we we um we dive into the to the workout are there any pieces of kit that that, that people will need to follow along this session sure so we're going to start off in lying so mm -hmm. myself i'm going to be doing that on the floor on a yoga mat but obviously it's going to be difficult to get on and off the floor after a knee replacement so just lying on a bed or comfortable sofa is fine uh, equipment we're going to use um, either like a towel or a plastic bag we're going to just do some some knee sliding exercises to get the knee bending um, and just yeah just a cushion to, to relax the, the leg on as well okay good stuff good stuff and, and sorry a belt uh, we're just going to oh, yeah. like either a, a belt you can use the towel but a belt or dressing gown belt works really well okay okay and and, and just be, be, be before we a bit but uh, the final thing before we uh, get going with the exercises for this stage, for that first week to ten days, what is the the one piece of advice really that you that you highlight to your clients who um, who, who are? Uh, we clients? normally yeah we normally discuss pain management in detail. Obviously, it's a it's a big major surgery that had so people often really concerned about the the levels of pain. But it's just exercises are so important in that stage. So it's just trying to to even get the rest in between and and make sure you're you're really managing the pain whether that's through appropriate medication or resting, icing, mm -hmm. these sorts of things to, to, to control the pain. Yeah, and, and, and I know it's, it's something that, that a lot of people sort of think about and, and, and can get a little bit worried about is the bending and the straightening. You've already mentioned it, but I think it's worth mm -hmm. highlighting again. What, 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 what do you tend to say for, for people who are at this early stage in terms of bending and straightening the knee? Yeah, so the, the flexion, the bending of the knee, that's, that's going to come over time with exercise. The most important thing in the first weeks, 10 days, is definitely getting that knee straight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, and I think that's, that, 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 that's a strong message to, uh, to, to end the intro on, and uh, I'll hand the screen over to you, Mark. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right, so we're just gonna start with a bit of a warm up here, getting the ankles moving. So just nicely nice and easy up and down so before we do any of these exercises either pre or post-operatively we're going to start with these ankle movements so not just important to move the ankle joint as well but most important thing about this exercise is getting the calves moving so calves are the just the muscles at the 
the back of the, the shin bone here. So we're going to move for about one minute here. So your calves act as a, a pump to help get the blood circulating around the body. So really important to do this one before any of the other exercises. So like I said, we're going to use a, a belt or a, a towel for some of the exercises today. So find that um, either a rolled up towel is really good, but if you have a dressing gown, then a, a dressing gown belt can be, can be really good to just help with these exercises. Helps just slightly improve the range of movement of the joint if you've got a prop or something that you can use, especially when we come to, to bending that knee. So last 10 seconds of ankle movements here. And then we're going to, so we're going to use the belt. So we're just going to start with a bit of a calf stretch. So we're going to reach forward using the belt kind of just underneath the toes here. And we're going to pull towards you. So as you pull towards you, you're going to hopefully feel a bit of a, bit of a stretch in the back of the calf muscle. So I'm going to hold this for about 15 to 20 seconds. So obviously it's not the easiest thing to, to bend forward, especially trying to, pull the toes up towards you. So using these props can be really helpful. And then we're gonna switch to the opposite side. So we're gonna start off doing these exercises on both sides, especially for the warm up. But when we come to doing the actual exercises, we're just gonna focus on, on that operated side. So for this one, knee as straight, as straight as you can, flat to the, the bed or the sofa and then pulling up towards you. So obviously I'm sitting up now, this could be sitting up like this on the bed or the sofa, or you could be, if the belt is long enough, then you could also be, be lying down, whatever is comfortable for you. We'll switch back to the other side. So we're gonna be exercising the knee, so you wanna find whatever, whatever is comfortable position for you for sort of 10 to 15 minutes worth of exercise. So you're not experiencing any, any pain anywhere else in the body, so you can comfortably rest the knee in between the, the repetitions as well. We're gonna do two more of these on each side. So like I said, other things we're gonna use for the session today, just a plastic bag. Plastic bag or, or something like that is really important to help the, the knee bend after surgery. So the knee will inevitably be a bit painful and, and swollen in the, the early stages after surgery. So any props that might help you to get that extra kind of 10 to 15 degrees of, of knee flexion can be really helpful. Okay, last one on each leg for this. So pulling up towards you until you feel a bit of a stretching sensation not, not a pain sensation, just a, a slight pull stretching on the back of the calf. And we're going to hold that five, four, three, two, one. And then last one on the opposite side. About, like I say, about 15 to 20 seconds for, for stretching just to warm up. It might be a bit more challenging on the operated side. You, it won't just be swollen in the knee. You'll have a bit of swelling probably on the lower part of the leg as well, which is just going to impact slightly the, the calf muscle and, the, and certainly the, the stretching of this muscle. It might be that the knee is just slightly raised as we try and work into that extension or straightening of the knee. Okay. So our first exercise, we're going to, going to use a cushion. So I'll demonstrate all of these exercises today just on, on the right leg. Obviously, you're, you're doing these on the, the operated side. So we're gonna roll the cushion up slightly and just pop it under the operated side. So here you can see that there's a slight gap underneath the knee. So we're gonna work on some quads exercises. So quad muscles are just your, your thigh muscles here, really important for um, getting the knee straight and strength of the lower leg as well. So. We're leaving a gap under here so that we can just, as we squeeze and tighten the quad muscles, we aim to get that knee a bit straighter as well. So what we're going to do is slightly push down and just tense the thigh muscles. So you could have your hand in here so you can feel the tensing of the thigh muscles. We're just going to hold it for three seconds. Three, 
two, one, and then just easing off again. So as you push the knee down, that is when you squeeze the thigh muscles. So it could be that you just ease off in between and then pushing down again. Three, two, one. So we're gonna do two sets of 10 for these exercises. We push down, squeeze the thigh muscles. Three, two, one. Okay, and again, pushing down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So it might be that the knee doesn't go completely straight while you're doing these. You're just, as, as long as you're feeling the quads activating, then that's absolutely fine. So pushing down three, two, one. Okay, we'll do two more. And then last one, three, two, one. So if you're doing two sets of 10 in between, you just wanna just take the pressure off the knee a little bit. That could just be getting a slight bend into it. If there's pain and swelling inflammation, then it might actually be sore as you're trying to get a bit more extension, a bit more straightening of the knee there. So we'll just rest for a few seconds and then we'll go into our second set. So pushing down, squeezing the thigh muscles again and just holding it there. Again, sitting up like this, long sitting is a good position, but lying is also absolutely fine. And then pushing down again. So just as we talk about how important it is to get the knee straight after surgery, that means that it's important where you have the, the leg rested when you're sleeping as well. So in the early stages, we don't want any bend in the knee uh, when you're asleep. So certainly, say if you have a hospital bed or anything, then make sure that that's completely flat so you're not having any flexion at all in the knee. And it can be tempting to sleep with, with cushions or pillows under the knee, but again, we don't want any, any knee bend in there. Okay, and pushing down again. Last few for this exercise. Even by now, the legs might be Shaking a little bit if the muscles are getting a little bit fatigued. And last one, pushing down. Three, two, one. So, we just take the leg off the cushion. So for the next exercise, we're gonna either use a, the, the same rolled up cushion or it could be a, a pillow or something underneath the knee, but I'm just gonna use the sort of rolled up yoga mat just as a bit easier to demonstrate for you so we're going to get a slight bend in the knee here okay and then the the bent knee is just resting on this cushion or on this pillow and then we're going to do something very similar to the last exercise work in the thigh muscles again just to try and straighten the knee okay and then if you look at the ankle we're trying to pull the toes up towards you Again, holding, trying to tense the thigh muscles and then just relaxing. Now this, this can be a really challenging exercise in the early stages. So if you can't get the knee fully straight, then that's okay. That's why you're doing them. So you can work towards that. And we'll show you some more exercises later to, to try and help get that knee straight as well. So it might be that as you lift, you're only getting it, you're only slightly bringing the heel off of the bed or the sofa, that's okay you might notice it, it going a little bit more each time. So we push up, try and get the knee as straight as possible, toes up towards you, and then we hold for three seconds. So it's good to do perhaps two lots of 10 for these exercises in the early stages, but this is completely flexible. If after five repetitions, you feel that the, the muscles are fatigued, then that's fine, we can do five and then rest, and then another five afterwards. So obviously there might be a bit of an increase in pain after doing some exercises, but if your pain's uh, four or five out of 10, the aim is not that after you've done exercises, they're at seven, eight, nine out of 10. So you really have to go easy, especially in the first week. 
Okay, we'll do one more for the first set. So again, squeezing the thigh muscles, ankle up towards you. Three, two, one, and then rest. Same as before, between the, the set, we can just gently, perhaps supporting the hands underneath the knee, you could just bring it into a slight bending position if that makes it feel a little bit easier. Just kind of take the heat off a little bit before we do the second set. And then we'll straighten again, rest the back of the knee into a comfortable position and we'll go for our second set. So lifting up, toes towards you, three, two, one, and then rest. And lifting again, three, two, one. Some of these quads exercises you can do in sitting, but this one's really important to do in lying. It's much easier, you can rest the cushion or the pillow under the knee to complete these ones. Good, halfway through the second set. Lifting up again, three, two, one. And by now you'll definitely be feeling a bit of fatigue in the, in the muscle. So if, it, if the leg's not coming up as high, then that's absolutely fine. Even now I can start to feel the quads shaking a little bit. Up we go again, three, two, one. And then last one on this side, three, two, one. So we'll move the, the pillow or the cushion just out of the way. So the next one, it's very similar. This time we're gonna try and lift the leg as a whole. So we're gonna kind of combine the first two exercises. So the first part is pushing down, trying to get the knee as straight as possible, squeezing the quad muscles, and then lifting up, holding it. Three, two, one, and down. And as you do this, if you can't hold it up, as long then it's fine to just lift up and straight back down you're still working the quad muscles or well, it might be that as you lift up there's a slight bend in the knee like we said before again that's absolutely fine so we'll keep lifting the leg so really really important as you're working all of these quadricep muscles this is going to help the leg to to get stronger and certainly help the knee to to straighten as well so Three, two, one. And lifting up, three, two, one. And if you do feel a bit of fatigue in this muscle, then it's absolutely fine to alternate between the two as well. If you're doing 10 on, on the operated side, certainly no harm in doing 10 on the non-operated side as well. That certainly gives the, the operated side a, a bit of a, Bit of a rest for a minute or so while you're doing these. Okay, up we go again. Three, two, one, and down. Same as before, moving the ankle, toes up towards you, lifting up for three, two, one. We'll do one more for this set. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, as we did before, just in between, we're just gonna pull the leg up a bit into a, a bent position just to ease, ease it a little bit before we move into our second set. And then we'll straighten again. By now, hopefully you're feeling the knee just to loosen up a little bit more, certainly getting the, the muscles activated and heart rate up a little bit. So we'll go into our second set. So toes up towards you, lifting up three, two, one, and back down again. Three, two, one. And again, the, the timing is adjustable. If you find in the early stage, you're just lifting up and coming straight back down, you can try and build up to holding it up for three seconds. And if you're fine, three seconds is quite comfortable, then we can build up to five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, so halfway through the second set. And then again, three, two, 
for one. Yeah, as, as you're following these videos and doing these exercises, you know, it's good to, to kind of study and learn the kind of what the objective of the exercise is so that you can adjust it accordingly as well. So like I said, these can be done in, in sitting as well. So as you learn, you can kind of make, make your own adjustments. And if the knee is a bit more painful, then you can hopefully make it life a little bit easier when you're doing your exercises. You lift up again, three, two, one. Also, if you've learned the exercises, then you can always, you know, if you know them off by heart, you can take a break in between as well. So it doesn't have to be kind of rigid 10 exercises back to back. You can always do five, come back to it later, or pause the video and then come back to it. So we'll do one more on this side. And then three, two, one. Good. So we're going to use a um, plastic bag. And basically, we're using the, the plastic bag just so we've got the two surfaces can kind of slide on each other. So we're going to place this underneath the heel of the operated leg. Okay. So we're going to get a slight bend in the knee here. It might be easier as well to just flex the opposite knee. Hands underneath the thigh. And we're now we've worked on straightening the knee. Now we're going to work on bending the knee. So just gently pulling. And as you can see, the, the plastic bag is just going to support you as well. And it might be that you're just getting to here and the pain is, is quite intense. And then we're just going to straighten back down again. Okay. I'll take the bag away for a second just because of the sound, but you can see what we're, we're working towards. So bending the, bending the knee with the bag underneath, holding it. So you're really using your hands for a bit of extra support here and then sliding back down again, okay? So take as much time as you need in between each repetition, just allowing the, the muscles to relax and then gearing yourself up for the next one. So bending up, holding three, two, one, and then pushing down. Might be that you're noticing each time you lift, you're hopefully getting a, a little bit more of a, a knee bend as well. And we spoke last time about what is, you know, a good pain or, or a bad pain. So if you're experiencing, you know, what you think is pain here, you know, ask yourself, is it pain? Is it just the stretching of the, the scar tissue that you have on the front of the knee? Is it the quads actually stretching that haven't been, been stretched in a while? So just before, we say, oh, this, this movement is painful. Just think, is it, is it a beneficial movement after knee surgery? So we wanna try and gain a little bit more each time. So lifting up and then back down again. Okay, so flexing again. So each time, if you can get the knee to a right angle, then that's that's good in the first week. So that would be 90 degrees. That's the normally the aim in the first week after surgery. And back down again. You might be a slightly limited as well. Don't forget you obviously you'll have the have the dressing on the front of the knee. So people often find once the, the dressing is removed that they can uh, flex the knee a little bit more, gives them the kind of extra 10, 15 degrees as well. Okay, last one, holding up, and you can always hold at the end here, holding it for five, 10 seconds if you want, doesn't have to be just three seconds, and then back down again. Okay, so again, in between the two sets, just kind of let the leg completely, completely relax down, okay? And then we'll go for our second set. So lifting up, holding three, two, one, and down again. It might be that if you have a, a sock on or something and you're doing this on the bed, the, the foot might slide perfectly well on the on the surface that you're on. So just have to be mindful when you're doing these exercises, just the friction if you are 
uh, bending the knee like this and the, the skin of the heel is, is rubbing against something, just be, just be careful of that. And let's straighten again. Okay, bending again, holding three, two, one, and back down again. Okay, last few for this exercise. Bending up, three, two, one, and down. Also, you can use the little bit of momentum you're getting from, from straightening the knee as well. So as we move from this flex position down, as you're coming down, you're getting a nice stretch of the muscles underneath as we move through the bending and the straightening. So last time here, bending up, holding if you can again, about 90 degrees, that'd be great. Three, two, one, and then down again. Okay, so for the next exercise, we're gonna do something similar, still working on the knee bending, but we're gonna bring back in the, either the, the rolled up towel or, or belt that you had, and we're just gonna use that as a bit of support this time. So. This one's gonna be easier lying down completely. So we can keep the opposite leg bent. Okay, and then in this position, okay, I'll just put the, the cushion behind. We're gonna try and pull up and bend again. If you can bend here, so you're using the, the belt or the rolled up towel, again, just to give yourself that bit of support. So not only are we getting a knee bend here, but the, the hip is, is flexing up nicely as well. Okay, so lifting up, holding again for about three to five seconds and then pushing down. So as, as we push down, you're working the muscles, you're getting a little bit of resistance there as you push against the, the towel or the belt that you have. If you've, you know, you've done all of the others so far and the knee is feeling a bit sore, then this would be the one that you would skip out for the second. So kind of giving it a rest for two to three minutes until we do the next exercise. And if you're managing okay so far, then this one can be one where you can really, if you're getting up to that 70, 80 degrees, then we can really use the arm strength to just give it a little bit more of a push there at the end. Lifting up. Last one for this exercise. So you don't, with this, you don't have to hold at the end. We can just move up and then straight back down again. Okay, so we'll do our second set in a minute, just allowing at least kind of 10 to 15 seconds just to rest in between, between these exercises. And then we'll go for the second set. So you can do these in sitting as well. Again, as long as you've got a good grip of the, the belt or the towel, we can just gently lift up like this if, if the hip movement allows this. So. If you're doing your, your rehab, obviously, at home and you're not able to get to a, a clinic, then you, it's really good to just try and utilize as many props as you can around the house to just help, help with these exercises. So we won't hold these ones. We'll just slowly kind of move through the knee flexion and extension there. Okay, we'll do three more for this one. And then after this, we're gonna just move up into, into sitting in a comfortable seated position for the, the next few exercises. Okay, so 
because because some of the exercises were a little bit more challenging towards the end there we're just going to do a bit of a just a nice kind of knee bending and straightening here so just kicking forward as as high as you can just again taking the knee through its range of movement here if it doesn't go as straight then that's okay just even if you're just sliding the the foot on the floor again you can use the plastic bag i'll demonstrate that lift again it would just be popping the, the bag underneath the foot and then just gently sliding back and forth if it's like a wood surface like this then again just a, a sock on that side just to help with the, the knee bending Now I've just got two more exercises to do. Both of them are gonna work on the, the knee movement and we're just gonna use a bit of overpressure just to try and get firstly the knee bending a bit more and then the second one, the knee straightening a bit more. So instead of using the, the plastic bag, we're just gonna use the, the opposite side. Lift this up a little bit. Okay, so if we're trying to bend the, the right knee here, we're gonna, Bend as far as we can actively, so that's using your muscles, wrapping the opposite leg round and just bending that left knee so it gives a slight extra, maybe 10 degrees stretching of the, the front of the knee here and then we can hold for five seconds, okay? Well, if you can hold this one for a bit longer, then that's, that's gonna be really good. You'll really feel a nice stretch on the front of the knee here. Okay, you can keep the, the plastic bag under the, for if you wanted to, because as we come out of that movement, we're going to just, you'll definitely feel like you want to uh, extend the knee, like straighten the knee a little bit, just to kind of take the pressure off a bit. And just definitely resting about five to 10 seconds in between these ones. So again, start off actively. So flexing as far as you can, using that opposite leg. And then we're just going to, Try and flex a little bit more. So using the hamstring muscles, the muscles at the back of the thigh here on the non-operated side, just to give a bit of support to the operated leg. And we'll ease off. Okay, if you want to support that from right from the start, then that's fine. You wanna try and use the muscles as, as much as you can during these, these movements. Holding there, three, two, one, we'll ease off. Okay, bending again, just adding that little bit of extra knee bend there. So these ones can be quite intense, so we're just gonna do one set um, of each one for these. Again, completely, as you're doing these yourself, they're, they're completely adjustable. If, if 10 repetitions is too much, then, then definitely go for five. So we'll do one more on this side, and then we're gonna work on one, something similar to just help get that knee, that knee straight. So holding again, five, four, three, two, one. So for this last exercise, we're gonna need either um, another chair or a stool. So we're gonna just turn this to the side. So just to work on the, I'll demonstrate this on the, on the left knee. So it doesn't have to be as high as this. It's certainly if you have a, a stool that's a little bit lower or something to rest your foot on. It might be that you need to use your hands definitely to, to help lift the leg up. And we're just gonna rest here. So the aim is that there's nothing underneath the knee here. So firstly, it should be a, a comfortable resting position, but we get a nice stretch of the knee as well. So similar to the very first exercise, we did the quad exercise, you can push down, tense the thigh muscles, but also you can use your hands just a very, very gentle push down here to try and stretch the hamstring muscles at the, at the back here. 
Now this, we're gonna perhaps stay here for two minutes, but this, if this is comfortable for you, this could be a position that you could rest in for between 10 to 15 minutes, bend the knee, and then repeat that exercise, okay? So this doesn't have to be one where you're constantly taking the foot on and off of the, the chair, because that's not gonna be too comfortable. So if you, in the first week, you find yourself resting in the chair or watching TV or something, then this is an important one to do. You can still do that whilst exercising as well. So TV could be on in the background, leg up on the chair and just really gentle pressure down on the knee until you're feeling a, a stretch again. It might be that the knee's slightly, slightly bent, but you're working working towards getting it straight and don't you know we've spoke a lot today about getting the knee straight don't worry if, if it appears like in the first week it's not getting fully straight you'll have you know the swelling and inflammation will also make it look like it's slightly flexed as well because the top of the knee can be quite puffy as well okay so you can kind of come back in and apply a slight pressure down again and then ease off. So as, as it feels a bit more intense there, then we just ease off for, for a time. And then we can go back into it. So this one is, you know, you can really adjust this accordingly. So we'll just do last 30 seconds for this one. This is a nice finish as well to the exercises. If, if you do feel like your, your knee is quite sore after, after sort of 15 to 20 minutes of exercises, then it's, quite good just to finish in this position as well because the the legs elevated as well so that's going to help with the with the swelling also a really nice opportunity to to get some ice on the knee as well which can help with the swelling and inflammation so if you're coming out of this position exactly the same as before give your knee some support as well just moving out to the side and then a gentle uh, knee bend again to finish Okay, and then always, like we said earlier, always finish with some calf movements as well. So just nice and easy lifting the toes and just moving the ankles to finish. So we'll just do 20 seconds and then all done. And definitely after you've done some exercises like this, make sure you don't have anything in for the next hour or so, make sure that you're drinking lots of water and taking it easy, elevating the leg, doing all the things you need to do to, to take care of the, the knee. Excellent, and we'll hand back over to Axel. Great, thanks very much, Mark. I think that's a, that's a really nice session. And uh, you know, we've, we've, we've said it a few times, but I think you've, you've done a great job there of highlighting you know that it's that, that really in the early stages it's it's about you know little and often you know ankle pumps keeping things moving trying to keep the blood flowing not overdoing things and then the the focus really being on trying to get that knee straight exactly yeah some people it's good obviously if people are really motivated with their rehab in the early stages but sometimes as physios we have to go in and kind of make sure they're they're, they're taking it easier and getting their rest period as well yeah, 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 fantastic. Uh, is, is there anything um, else? I mean, you, you, you touched on quite a few useful things that, uh, as you went through, and I think it's a really good point about, you know, especially now, while, while many will still be in, in, in a situation where you might not as easily be able to access face-to-face -face physiotherapy, that there are actually quite a few things that odds are people will have around the house that can help, you know, be it just two sets of sturdy chairs, plastic bags. Exactly. Yeah, lots of lots of props and things because obviously even if you are having physio, that might be once or twice a week. You know, we would encourage you to be doing your exercises three, four, you know, times a day if if you can. So making sure that you're you're using these props. The the biggest one is the belt. If you can use the belt to try and get that knee bent, then that's really good. And and you know, if you're if you're resting, ideally that's a good time to to try and work on the the knee straightening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great, great. And of course, you know, for, for those of you out there who've just gone through this routine, uh, now's the time to take a quick moment to, you know, update your progress on uh, on, on your Journal School app. Um, and uh, and then, you know, over time, you'll see, you'll see those graphs grow and you can 
use the app and the tracking of both activity and your daily pain scores to help find that balance between you know what, what we spoke about in the um, in the last session that sort of the, this concept of good pain and bad pain and trying to find a balance of of, of, of working with the exercises regularly, working on straightening and then working on bending, which will come over time, not doing too much, but keeping up with things. And, and with some of the movements, there may be some discomfort, but sort of learning to know where, where that balance is. And of course, it being really subjective. Super. Well, is, is there anything else you, you'd like to add, Mark, before we sign off for today? Um, no, I think hopefully, um, hopefully we've covered everything. If, like you said, if there's any questions, then uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. All right, everyone. Well, really hope you enjoyed this uh, th this workout. I think it's a, re it was a really good, uh, a really good session. Really, really nicely done, Mark. And so, you know, to, to stay up to date, uh, please uh, subscribe. And of course, there'll be details for uh, Post Up Home Physio. How you can contact Mark and his team uh, about arranging a one on one, either you know, in person visit here in London or uh, face to face virtually. Uh, so those details will be below this video. Uh, and uh, as ever guys, you know, stay safe out there, keep up the good work, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.